hey guys, Cab of Gary back here. Today, uh, I need to get my little crane fixed. So, last time I used this, I was trying to lift up a 10 speed transmission and I broke my winch. Uh, this twisted, came apart. So, uh, didn't work out too good for me. So my plan this time is I'm gonna run a snatch block on it to try to lower the weight that goes on the winch itself and see if that fixes the problem. Uh, and also try not to lift up over a thousand pounds with it. But I will say that this crane system that I had set up uh, lifted a GM 6.5 diesel hooked to an NV4500 without an issue. So, I don't think that was too bad, but uh, I definitely overdid it the last time I used it. Well, so far my plan has come into an issue. My plan was is to drill a hole through and put this hook here to attach the end of the uh, snatch block so I could double line it to distribute the load 50-50 between the winch and this point. So I bought this eye hook, this sleeve that fits in here and I was planning on just drilling a hole and bolting this in. Well, something I didn't think about is the line runs across there. So, that's an issue. Um, so now I gotta figure out something else to work around that. Uh, otherwise it's gonna chew up the line. Uh, so, first thought was to put it sideways, but I really don't like that ideal. So I'm gonna see what I could do. My, I, I don't have the, this is a fairly new house to us and I haven't wired 220 yet, so I can't weld a cap on and put it on the end. That would work well as well, but uh, I don't have that option at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna brainstorm and see what uh, I come across. Uh, see if I can figure something out that will work. So here's my workaround. I'm gonna take this bolt, drill a hole here, through, so the bolt will mount through like that, and then have the chain come out the bottom, and then I'll be able to hook the hook to it. I don't know if I'm gonna need one loop, chain link or two, so I got two out of a chain. And that should be plenty strong enough to hold it. So uh, I don't like drilling this big of a hole in it, but, uh, I think it'll be okay. I don't think there's uh, any concern. And then I'll be able to hook it up. So uh, I'm gonna get set up to do that. All right, we're gonna drill the cross one first. So, uh, by the way, these have been pretty good drill bits. You guys are looking for some. I got them at Lowe's, but they're American made and they've been staying pretty sharp and drill pretty good. So if you guys are looking for some drill bits, might not be a bad one to go to. So we're gonna go right We're gonna go towards the bottom a little bit. Let's go right there. Center punched it.
to do this I'm going to drill two holes this size I think this size will work and then I'm going to have to maybe I'll do three holes and then grind that between them for now is uh, my tires for the lift axle are up on my land and I need to lift them up and I don't have a good way to do that. I mean I can muscle them up but I mean semi truck tires aren't the lightest thing. I just gotta, so I got this and I gotta grind it out now. The thing is I don't have my air hooked up out here yet. So, I would normally use a die grinder with one of these bits, but since I don't have it hooked up right now, I'm gonna try to do it in my drill, which might be interesting. If I could get my the bit I need out. There we go. I'm stuck in my call it. And we'll see how well this works. So I got a groove cut, but it's not quite long enough. I'm gonna lengthen it like that. I also got a crooked. I hate that.
There's a little bit more. There we go. And then let's see. I wish I had hammered on to it the thing comes over the front so that's all good now I'm gonna swap out the winch this is the one I'm replacing it with it's the same winch just uh, doesn't have the same control box but I'm gonna use the control box on that one for one reason I got it connected to one of these military type connectors uh, so I have these on my truck and on everything I have, so I can just easily do that. And uh, this one was 65 bucks, that one's 100 bucks, so that's why I went with this one. Uh, should be the same strength and everything like that, it's just the control box isn't as good. So let's go uh, mount this up. So this just has two pound head bolts mounting it on so i'm just gonna zip them off it's kind of a hard angle to get to i wish i had some regular bolts to replace those with but i just don't that wasn't too bad definitely thought that was going to be worse Take I've been really happy with how uh, this setup has worked until I broke it. I think this winch might be salvageable or used for something else. Um, I was thinking about making a power swing with the motor, like you know, take it apart and look at the how it connects and stuff. But if it's a gear, then I think I can do something with that. So uh, I think all that happened, as you can see, is that came apart so I think the gear popped out I think this is a gear I think it popped out so I think I could take it apart and get it back together why don't we do that real quick it looks like right there four millimeter probably happen to have the Allen wrench right here oh not four probably three I 
because that's uh, just a little piece across the top. That's what have never happened. But I didn't think it needed that strength. And it probably doesn't for what it's designed for. Oh, no, I broke the spool off of it. I did more than I thought. Yeah. So, it is gear drive, but that's going to be hard to adapt to something. And I broke the spool off of it. And the gear is now twisted in there. Yeah. I did a good job. Definitely. I remember right. I had to drill these a little bit to make them fit. Yeah, these are too small of a hole. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna open those up to fit the bolts. Okay, I got those two bolts back in. I had to unwind the winch to do so, but I also need to do that because I need to get this cable out to route it right. Looks like I need a little something. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, let's start putting this puppy together. So I need to put this back in. And then, there's the snatch block I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna, let's see. I want the hook to go forward, so I'm gonna wrap it this way. Wait, no, I got that wrong. I need to wrap it this way. And then this goes up through here. Here. So one thing that I want to make sure, and then this is just going to clip onto here, that I do different this time is I want to uh, spool it so it goes over the top of it. When it came across the bottom, it was rubbing on here and here. So if it comes across the top, it'll have less rub there. and. Uh, I think that'll be better which means i'm trying to figure it out in my head i think it means that uh the buttons are going to be reversed on the remote but that's not a big deal as long as i know it unless so this came through this way what if i go through this way back through there which isn't proving to be that easy no it's not gonna matter I need to go through the way that it 
I do need to go this way, but man, this is a nut wanting to go through. I gotta have to straighten this out more. Try not to break the welds at the end of it. Okay, now let's see if I can get it through. Yeah, there we go. And then I need to pinch it back. pinch back so now I'm going to connect power to it and spool it back up so I'll get you guys uh, where you can see that so guys something I recommend all you guys put on your trucks is these so this is a military style connector so I have 35 foot of jumper cables and I got two uh, I think these are 15 feet extensions, so I could do 65 feet from the truck, I could jump, and they get good connections, they jump really well, and also hooking up accessories. I have this set up on that, and then I also uh, use it for the winch that I have. Uh, something else that I did is that winch was originally bought to pull the head off of this truck because I was in a gravel field and I had a good way to do it. So I mounted it in the middle, pulled it off, and uh, worked good. So I can mount it there in the middle or on this side. I don't like to do this side because I got the gas tank and don't want to swing something into it. Uh, eventually I think I am going to put one on one of the back corners uh or maybe right here would be a good spot uh so i could back up to something and do it i don't know i'll figure it out i gotta fix this uh from the last time i hauled but uh i'm gonna jump up here i'll set you guys up and uh wind it up It's going to be reversed for this to get it that way.
did create another little problem that I think I'm going to have to fix. I gotta elongate this hole a little bit because this keeps it from going all the way in. Or I can notch there. I think I'll elongate the hole. Yeah, it's behind this. This is where the most of the stress is going. I think that would be the best. Something else I want to show you that I, have, that I use is a strap winder. This one just clips and then you get it started. So much easier and faster than doing by hand. And then when I get to the end, I tighten it up some and then just slide it off. There's one. That wasn't supposed to happen. Strap probably needs to replace. 
three. Four. That fast, that easy. So, yeah, these are well worth the money in my opinion. That's why I put that on there. So much easier.
so you guys could see why I have that crane. That's so much easier than trying to lift them up myself. So that's going to be it to this video. Hope you guys liked it. And comment to Peter Bell Mike to see this video. Because I think he needs to put one of them on low and slow. I'll catch you next time. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.